The mission of USTAR, the Utah Science, Technology, and Research Initiative, is to accelerate the commercialization of science and technology ideas generated from entrepreneurs, university researchers, and private sector companies. USTAR's programs include competitive grant funding, incubation services, and SBIR assistance. In this video, you will meet one company highlighting how USTAR is impacting Utah's science and technology communities. Enjoy the video. There are two key components to our technology. One is the hydrogel, the smart hydrogel. The second is the transduction mechanism. The principal application of these biosensors at the moment is in the pharmaceutical industry. They make many important pharmaceutical proteins like insulin using bioreactors. Currently, there are no sensors available that can be used to continuously measure the nutrient solutions. What our sensor monitors is the key process parameters during the drug manufacturing itself. Applied biosensors will be the first sensors which we can place in these bioreactors for a period of about three weeks and will allow the people in the pharmaceutical industry to continuously monitor the conditions inside the bioreactor. Previously, the way it was monitored is manually. Somebody goes in there, sits in front of the reactor, takes out the samples every three, uh, three hours. Now imagine having hundreds of small reactors. You can't have 10 different people, 100 different people doing this uh, monitoring. Our sensor is going to be economical, is going to be able to be used in these small reactors easily and be able to control the, the, the reactors. That will allow these biologic drugs, which now make up almost half the drugs produced in the United States, it'll help them make them more accurately, which will help them have better purity when the drugs come out for better efficacy and patient use. It'll also make it less expensive because they're going to have less failures in the process. The hydrogel technology itself can be applied to many different fields and many different analytes. Right now, this is just a beginning of what this technology can do. We had a very good collaboration from a large company uh, that actually propelled us. We have support from the federal agencies, of course the state, and then the team. We are very fortunate that we've been working with uh, USTAR. We have applied for two TAP grants, Technology Acceleration uh, Program grants, and we were able to get two grants last year. And we have worked with the uh, SBIR program through USTAR, and uh, they have helped us in consulting with our SBIR application. And we also received an NSF Phase 1 SBIR last December, so that was a huge resource. And then also we are here at the BioInnovation Skateway where we are renting this place for our company and that has been such a huge asset. Early on, having the support to do something like this, giving that courage, giving that support to somebody who is excited uh, to do an entrepreneurship is the key to making successful uh, companies and we feel very lucky to have the kind of support that we have here in Utah. Five years from now, uh, we want to be successful. Uh, we want to make sure uh, we keep continue to discover new things and also most importantly commercialize uh, new products that are needed in the market and uh, recruit more people here in Utah. We want to be in Utah. Uh, we want to recruit more engineers, scientists, technicians, uh, people from business background and then just make a productive base here in Utah. To learn more about the programs featured in this video and to see other programs offered by USTAR, please visit ustar.org.